construction on the West Valley line is moving full speed ahead, and one everyday material makes a big difference in cutting that construction time. Jed Bull shows us what they're using. Well, Deanie, nearly all of us use styrofoam in our everyday lives, but typically we use it for its ability to keep food and drinks cold or hot, not for its ability to withstand a lot of weight and pressure. Engineers admit it's a strange idea to build a massive bridge support out of foam. Especially a bridge that will bear the weight of rumbling track spring. But geofoam is strong. The density that they're using on this project will withstand over a thousand pounds per square foot. So that's a tremendous amount of, of weight, much stronger than people would realize. Plus, the lightweight fill and stabilizer saves money in project time. Dirt and other types of fill can take too long to settle. It takes many, many uh, months of settlement to get the settlement out, and so uh, it's very helpful to use geofoam. The geofoam is also very easy for crews to work with. Take a look at this. This volume of dirt would weigh about 500 pounds, and no one man could move it. But with the geofoam, very simple to move around. Even one of these large blocks that you see, that is only about 180 pounds, so it's not that difficult to move around on the job site. As you drive through the spaghetti bowl, you may spot stacks of the white blocks and workers moving them into place. UTA is building a long bridge to fly over the rail yard. If the blocks sound hollow, that's because they're mostly air. It's, it's like stacking Lincoln logs. Or Legos. ACH Foam Technologies makes the material in Murray. Once the blocks are in place, stacked to a height of 40 feet, they will be capped with a concrete slab, road base, pavement, and then the light rail tracks on top. If the public wants the line open earlier, uh, this allows that. The geofoam doesn't work for every location, but in areas with the soft soils, it makes a lot of sense. The West Valley line could open as early as 2013. And of course, this is not the first time that builders have used geofoam on a big project in our valley. Find out about other applications at KSL.com.